think uh, uh, the law is very strict and very uh, onerous in terms of affixation of responsibilities and every retailer has to honor those commitments in terms of remaining compliant to it we are not an exception to it we are also uh, following the the standards in terms of how we ensure that uh, whenever the payment is being released whether the uh, there is a mechanism in place to check those compliances whether it's been done or not but yes um, since it's widespread it's becomes uh, manually intensive to check those things and uh, putting up systems in place to check that yes it's a, a laborious and exhaustive exercise but the businesses have to do that to remain compliant any specific item that you would like to share with our young professionals who may be watching this on what they should focus on now and early in their stage of career to become smarter governance professionals well um rishi um i follow only one thing that um the the road to compliance is dependent on two things one uh what is the value system that you adopt you need to call spade a spade and you have to collaborate with the business in terms of resolving challenges when it observes so that that's one second making the most and the best use of available technologies uh often we are, we underestimate the power of technology that has been given to us in terms of managing that uh a lot of government authorities we can see that the notice sending has been made um person free we are seeing digital bots and uh, algorithms sending the notices we have seen appeals and uh, faceless um mechanisms to to interact with the law enforcement agencies and with the, with the tax authorities uh, what i have been able to see that is the the, uh, the budding uh, professionals need to take into account that how uh, the emerging technologies be it ai be it, uh, the machine learning or be it uh, you know i won't name the talk of the town chat gpt and bar etc how these can help in terms of monitoring the compliances and reporting how this can help in assessing what matters most to you what are the applicable risks which are getting triggered and most importantly uh, whatever library of the evidences that the business has created by self updating self declarations whether those declarations those uh, those those documents whether you are compliant or not that's the next step wherein we will be uh, removing the manual dependencies also and the businesses uh, and the professional needs to adapt themselves that how they are more tax savvy in terms of checking it and being an enabler in terms of providing an absolute assurance rather than assurance being on sample basis so that will be the ask of the uh, from the young professionals and and resorting back to question number 1 so that the owners of the business can sleep peacefully